All right, honk honk guys, honk honk. Welcome back. A uh, little crypto market update today. We are at 41,613 on the old Bitcoin and Ethereum is at $3,012. Everything else, massive sea of green. Those reds are just the stable coins. No big deal there. They usually just match the fiat. Awesome, awesome. Good day, good day. All right, what else do we have? So everything's looking good. And the date, just so you have the date, so you're not saying, what are you talking about, dude? Uh, so the date is 6. It's a Sunday. 6 February 2022, baby. All right, and what is going on? We got this going on. Everything's looking good. Hovering about 3,000. Mining's looking good. Uh, I, as we speak of that, people are still Ethereum mining. Everything for me is mining Ethereum. I am on um, Ethermine. And I am on over here two miners. Two miners, why? Okay, they both charge percent pool fee. Uh, two miners is because I can mine Ethereum, ETHash, and get paid out in Bitcoin. Set my threshold, boom, get paid out, goes right to BlockFi. I get interest in my BlockFi account on the Bitcoin. I move there and mine. It's awesome. Compounded. Check it out. All right, let's go over what else can we look at? Short little video. Short little video, guys. All right. This is a cool chart, guys. This is the Ethereum mining profitability historical chart. And what does it show you? I'm at three years out. Look at that. That's your three years. The uh, Ethereum mining profitability in US dollars per day for one mega hash. So let's, oh, here it is right here. I always forget. It's six cents right now, man. That is, that's, that's up because look where we were. Let's go to a uh, lower granular level. Ah, three months is it. Okay. Three months, baby. So you can see end of January, we were down at uh, 0.035 approximately. And look at this, blammo, to the moon. We're back up to a little over six cents. So 0.0603, that is what you want to see. So the winter of crypto despair hopefully has ended, but you never know. It could always go back down. This is crypto. It's the roller coaster of the new age, I guess, right? So there you go. You can go check this chart out on uh, bitinfo, bitinfocharts.com. And it gives you an idea. It gives you a nice little feeling. Is it worth mining? What does it cost to mine per day? What am I going to get profitability? I mean, why? It's not cost, but what is the profitability? Hey, look at this. I never saw this. Let's go and say you're one of these guys over here and you want to mine XMR, Monero. Let's see if this tells me. Kind of gives you a nice little chart here. So here is, they move it over here. Mining probability for Monero is 0.04. Now is that in, oh cool, it compares. It gives you an Ethereum and a Monero. So it gives you an idea of which one's better to mine. So let's go to current 0.06. Oh God! So definitely, uh, Ethereum is a lot better to mine than Monero per this chart. Let's pick another one, man. This is awesome. I don't play around with this stuff enough. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh boy! Uh, all right. Some people have those little Doji coin miners, those uh, Litecoin that mine the script, the old script algorithm for Litecoin. Uh, let's see what's happening here. I don't know. Is this going to show me? Um, Dogecoin is... I don't know what the hell that is. 5.27U. What is that? Units? I don't know. 0.02 again for Monero. Oh, well. That doesn't really help me out. Uh, what is U? What if I do Litecoin? Is it the same unit? Yeah, there's something about that unit. What is that unit, guys? I'm an idiot, so i got to figure out what that is. Ooh, dark. Can I go dark mode? Dun, dun, dun. All right. Any site that doesn't have night mode is, is not good. All right. What else do we got? Um, that's about it. What else do we mine here? Ripple. I can't mine that. All right. That's all I got. I don't know. I can't think of anything else on here. But this is kind of cool. It kind of compares it. Let's just go back to ETH. Turn off these little puppies. X and I don't know. That's good, though. I didn't know Monero was that, not that good. Oh, well. So we're mining ETH right now, and we're getting 0.0603. So, I don't know. Keep mining, guys. Just wanted to give you a little update on this stuff. 
Let's go back for a sign out. Yeah, we're holding 30,000, 41,000. Let's just see if it stays there. Yeah. Now my theory, I'm going to say this and get in trouble. But my theory is it went up to the high 60s, right? Bitcoin. Ethereum was kicking butt. The big financial players missed the boat. The boat left without them. And their investors were like, hey, Timmy here, who's you know, 21 working for me out of a community college, is making a million dollars a year and not working for me anymore because he doesn't need to. He's financially independent. Why can't I get a piece of that crypto pie? And the JP Morgans and the Leg Masons and the Fidelities are going, well, you missed the boat because it's up pretty high. And then, they'll, then they pause and say, give me a minute. Let me see what I can do about it. They get some whales or they have people that own a lot of coins and they, boom, they manipulate the market, drive it down. Blam, blam, blam. Just like kind of the uh, Wall Street bets guys found out about how the market works with these um, shorters and stuff like that. It's the same. There's a big club out there, guys, and you ain't in it. So all you can do is kind of know how greed is and how evil works and just kind of plan accordingly. And then like now, they think they drove the price down. Bitcoin was 30, what, 33, something like that. They probably bought heaps of it. And you can find out. They say people were accumulating coins on the blockchain and there is a site to look at that you can see people are adding to their wallets they're moving stuff off of exchanges meaning they're not going to sell it they're moving it off of exchanges into their wallets and that's a good sign they're accumulating it one guy moved a lot a lot a lot of bitcoin over to binance and it was not sold it was moved off to a wallet and you can trace the wallet in the blockchain yeah so i mean just got to watch the patterns. You can't you can't uh, can't complain about the big players. You just got to maybe follow them, watch the trends, and uh, get some of their crumbs, and uh, maybe buy, follow follow what they're up to. And I think that's what happened. They just lowered the price, and uh, they were buying for the clients. And now this thing might just take off to the moon, or it can go to zero. I don't. What do I know? This is not financial advice. And I always say, if you listen to me. That's your problem. This is just for entertainment and what I do, and I'm not giving you anyone any advice on buying anything. If anything, do your own research. And I uh, always repeat myself, but nobody cares more about your money than you do, right? All right, guys. That's all I got. Good news all around, all around on, a, on a nice Sunday morning here. Uh, things are looking pretty decent. Even the GPU mining part is looking good. All right, so go forth, do great things. I will talk to you all later. Bye.